Did you forget that Amber Heard once guest starred on an episode of The O.C.? Remember when she worked with legendary director John Carpenter on a film that most fans wouldn't rank in their top 10? Here are Amber Heard roles you forgot about. Back in 2003, when she was still a teenager, Amber Heard got what would be the first of many big breaks in the industry. The future Aquaman star acted in the music video for Kenny Chesney's single, There Goes My Life, playing the college-bound daughter of the song's subject. She was asked about the part by Fox 17 while promoting her role in Paranoia, explaining with a laugh to her bewildered co-star Liam Hemsworth, When I was like 15, 14, I thought so, I did okay. I did a country music video oh. when I was in Texas. <laughs> One of Amber Heard's first big roles was in North Country, a 2005 film about a woman experiencing sexual harassment while working in a mine. Heard played the younger version of Charlize Theron's character Josie in flashbacks. This was Theron's follow-up to Monster, the film that won her an Oscar, and she told Female.com.au that she was intentionally choosing roles to show off her range, rather than her looks. It's just utter nonsense that this ideology that women who are pretty don't feel, don't have pain, or don't understand human conflict, because everything's just so dandy for them. Heard frequently speaks about feeling a similar frustration in her career, often worrying aloud that she was being typecast as a pretty blonde instead of getting offered well-rounded characters. She told British Vogue in 2011, I am constantly struggling to show people that there is more to me than my appearance. You do have to try and overcome those hurdles. Female actresses need to be given the chance to be more than how they look. Before she became a star big enough to lead films and television shows on her own, Amber Heard was like a lot of young actors trying to make it in Hollywood, taking guest roles wherever she could. One such role was on hit teen soap The O.C., on which Heard guest starred in a memorable episode called The Mall Episode in 2005. The plot of this episode sees the gang accidentally get locked in a mall overnight. Heard played the sales girl who shows the group into the back room to pick up donations, only to forget they were there before before locking up. Though they didn't share any scenes together on the show, Heard would go on to befriend the OC star Olivia Wilde a few years later on the set of Alpha Dog. Wilde told Marie Claire that she was struck by her friend's composure so early in her career, explaining of the young Heard, she was at once wise and completely wild. She carries a certain grace that's inherent to her. But she's also spontaneous and very hungry for life. Heard got another big break when she starred in Hidden Palms, a CW show about a teenager who moves to Palm Springs. Her character, Greta, is a mysterious beauty who intrigues the new kid after he spots her running carefree on a golf course late at night, dancing through the sprinklers. The eight-episode series was created by Kevin Williamson, the man behind teen drama hits like Dawson's Creek, but it didn't get airtime for a while and was burned off over the summer of 2008. Subsequently, it received a critical drubbing, including from The Hollywood Reporter, who called it, quote, "...mostly silly, pretentious, soap opera-style TV with an escapist mentality and the subtlety of an avalanche." Ouch! Hey, whoa. Hey, before you settle in there, sport, let me just say that last night was a moment, okay? In 2008, Amber Heard starred in Never Back Down, a film about a troubled teenager who joins a fight club at school. She played Baja, the love interest of the main character. Describing her role to Cinema Blend, she said, My character is a young girl who starts off as insecure and unsure of herself, maybe even unintelligent, or so one would think. Heard was referring to the character's introduction in the film, explaining, in Baja's first scene, she pretends to not know the answer to a question in class that she knows very well. It serves as a mirror to society, I think a very strong one. Though the film was not a critical success, it did well enough at the box office to spawn three sequels, the most recent of which was released in 2021. Her did not reprise her role in any of the subsequent films in the series. This is awkward. Amber Heard played Seth Rogen's girlfriend in 2008's Pineapple Express, a character who is still in high school and yet has her life together far more than her stoner boyfriend does. Although she told Rotten Tomatoes that she had more fun on that set than any of her other jobs, Heard also pointed out that her girlfriend character didn't make much sense or have much depth. 
there weren't any real female characters written into this script other than myself and one other that I can remember, and we both have smaller roles when compared to the boys. Like many of Judd Apatow's movies, the women are not very important in the sense of things. Well, I said I might be able to go, so why is she doing that already? Now I look like an ass. You are one! Oh, come on, don't say that. I However, it does seem that the cast enjoyed their time on set. Heard joke to Joe Blow that they did about 17,000 takes of each scene for the improv-heavy film. She also got along well with co-star James Franco, reuniting several years later to star together in 2016's The Adderall Diaries. Amber Heard had a small role in the first Zombieland film, playing a girl who comes over to Jesse Eisenberg's character's home only to transform into a zombie before they can hook up. The character is named simply 406, the number of her dorm room. At the film's premiere, Heard joked to Maximo TV that after she got the offer, she thought, well, you know what? I have a feeling I'm not gonna be asked this too much more in my future, so I should go for it when I have the chance. She explained that the role required three and a half hours of hair and makeup for the character's zombie prosthetics, and then a further two and a half hours to get it all off. In 2009, Amber Heard starred in The Stepfather, a remake of the 80s horror film of the same name. In the film, Heard plays Kelly, the girlfriend of Penn Bagley's Michael. She told Collider that she enjoys acting in horror and thriller films, explaining that it's hard to buy into the scary stuff when you're hanging out with the killer between takes. I always really have a good time making thrillers and horror films. There's like a subsequent lightness to making these kinds of films because you can never take yourself too seriously. Though the original is something of an 80s horror classic, the 2009 version came at the tail end of the 2000s remake boom and was not well received. As of this video, it stands at a mere 13% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. In 2008, Amber Heard clarified to Female First that she doesn't like watching horror movies when she's not acting in them. Generally speaking, horror films are not my favorite. I do get a lot of those kinds of scripts handed to me, but I don't watch them particularly often. I'm not a big fan of the genre, so it's not something that I go out and look for. A few years later, Heard acted in The Ward, and something seemed to have changed in her feelings about horror as a genre. The chance to work with legendary director John Carpenter was, it seems, too good for Heard to pass up. She revealed that she'd completely flipped her views on the horror genre, telling Collider, When I heard that he was interested in making this one, I sat down with him and couldn't believe that I was going to work with him. I'm a big horror fan. I'm a genre fan. I like to make these movies. They're my favorite kinds of movies to make. Unfortunately, Heard and Carpenter's collaboration wasn't quite the winner Heard wanted it to be. On Rotten Tomatoes, the movie has a meager 33% approval rating. In 2011, Amber Heard starred opposite Nicolas Cage in Drive Angry, a film about a man who escapes from hell in order to kill the cult leader who murdered his family. Heard plays Piper, a woman who finds out her husband is cheating on her and decides to tag along on Cage's character's angry quest for revenge. Just so you know, I don't pick up hitchhikers. I didn't have my thumb out. She told Den of Geek that in addition to being asked to play a strong female character in a film with a good script, the role offered other attractions. The icing on the cake is that I get to wear a pair of cowboy boots and drive a 69 Charger, and every single word out of my mouth, basically, is a cuss word. And I get to do it all while saving the world with Nick Cage. I had everything I wanted in this one. Amber Heard led the cast of NBC's flashy drama The Playboy Club in 2011, which was essentially sold as Mad Men for network television. Her character, Maureen, is a new Playboy bunny, an alluring femme fatale who is accidentally responsible for the death of a mobster. Heard told Collider that the period-specific costumes helped her get into character, explaining, when I put the Playboy Bunny outfit on for the first time, it took me back to this time that was this very, very specific moment in history when this existed. It's something that feels naughty, yet nice. It feels edgy and cool and different, and it's a lot of fun. The show was met with criticism from many sides, including legendary feminist Gloria Steinem, who urged people to skip it during an interview with Reuters. I expect that the Playboy Club will be a net minus, and I hope people boycott it. It's just not telling the truth about the era. It normalizes prostitution and male dominance. 
If you remember The Rum Diary, it's probably for one of two reasons. First, the movie saw lead actor Johnny Depp return to another Hunter S. Thompson project after receiving critical acclaim for 1998's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Second, you might know it as the film set where Depp and Amber Heard met and fell in love, soon to be married, and soon to embark on one of Hollywood's most drama-filled celeb marriages. At the time, though, with all of that still in the future, Depp was excited about having Heard in the film. He told Collider that he thought late pal Thompson would have approved of the casting. I also thought that she was absolutely just like seeing an old movie star. She's like Lauren Bacall. I thought maybe you were a mermaid. They tell me the coast is infestable. I'm from Connecticut. Director Bruce Robinson agreed, telling TNT, She's a shorthand. The thing that obsessed Hunter all his life was this notion of the American dream. She's the dream girl. She's like every boy's fantasy, that lady. But the dream can be quite cruel. And those who run the dream are ruthless people. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.